Though I think Norway is perhaps the smartest country in the world. Like, really smart. And this is because Norway nationalised its oil and natural resources. As you can see from the picture here, Norway has claimed this whole area of the North Sea there for their own to drill for oil. If you don't know what nationalisation of oil and resources means, it basically means that instead of a private company doing the drilling for oil and taking all the profits elsewhere, the government's in charge of it and the profits made from selling that oil actually go towards benefiting the people of Norway. This is called the Norway Oil Fund and this fund is so unbelievably rich you can actually see on this website here as it's like counting up in the billions. The money collected by the oil fund to date is over a thousand billion US dollars, 1.2 trillion. And because the fund is so large they obviously reinvest the money and in 2020 they made an additional 90 billion pounds in profit from those investments. Norway's style of government is called democratic socialism which means they pay quite high taxes around 35% but they receive a lot in return from social services. Norway highly values workers rights and its citizens benefit from free university education and healthcare. So you're probably wondering by now, why doesn't every country do this? It seems like such a good idea. And many countries have tried to nationalise their oil. However, unfortunately, there seems to be a pattern forming where they suddenly get invaded by the United States. And all of these countries are on the top list of countries that the United States is uh, at war with or enemies with. So there was Iraq and then there was Libya that suddenly got invaded that no one really took any notice of and they killed Colonel Gaddafi. Then Iran owns its own oil and obviously you see in the news we're trying to come up with an excuse to invade them every day. So why did Norway get away with it? And that's because Norway was already part of something called NATO, which was a treaty agreement left over from World War II, the North Atlantic Treaty Something. Now, Australians will be interested to know that the former Prime Minister, Gough Whitlam, on the left there, tried to nationalise Australia's resources for the people in a proposition called Buy Back the Farm. Unfortunately, he wasn't successful because the Queen appointed the QC to kick him out of government as the move would have affected her shareholdings in mining companies. Which is really unfortunate because Australia owns probably 10,000 times more resources than Norway does and we would have all been richer than God. He was a former Labor Prime Minister, by the way.